everyone, this is John Daly from BQP Publishing. I'm here today with Bob Mosley, author of the award-winning young adult sports novel, Choker. How are you doing today, Bob? I'm fine, John. Great, great. So you have a, a, a sports writing background that certainly predates this book. Uh, can you talk about that a bit and what got you interested in this type of writing? Well, I've been a sports writer most of my life. Um, I decided in college that I kind of wanted to go in that direction, uh, and it's been a, a fun career. I've mostly worked in newspapers and magazines, and uh, later in life, I uh, started writing uh, sports novels uh, after I had taught for a few years, and a lot of the kids in middle school, seventh and eighth grade, used to come up to me and ask, uh, Mr. Mosley, can you recommend a sports book for us? And there weren't a lot that I really thought were that authentic. Uh, I love Friday Night Lights, but there weren't a lot of others that I thought really captured uh, uh, the emotions, the, the feelings, the uh, uh, thought process that athletes go through. So I decided I'd try to write some on my own. Um, and that's how I got into it. Uh, but my background it has always been sports. I've uh, Ever since I was a young kid, I was like enthralled with sports. Uh, played four different sports in high school, two in college. And I always thought, well, I'm not going to become a professional uh, athlete because I'm not that good, but I could do the next best thing and write about them. So that's what I uh, set out to do. Um, as a uh, newspaper journalist, I covered uh, five Super Bowls, uh, World Series, NCAA, uh, basketball uh, with UConn uh, University of Connecticut, which I covered. Uh, Stanley Cup playoffs, the uh, US Open in both tennis and golf, um, and really everything from speed skating to tennis I, I've covered in, in sports. Um, so that's kind of what got me into this. Uh, and you know, they always say to write about what you know. Well, what I really know best is sports and uh, also journalism. So there's also some journalism in, in the books as well. Um, but uh, I thought that uh, what I wanted to do was try to develop a brand where when people think about young adult sports, they would think about, uh, think of my name. And so I wrote a football book, Choker was a basketball book, and my next book coming out is a baseball book. So yeah. I've covered three different sports. Very good, very good. Now, Choker, um, the story in Choker, it's about a 16-year-old high school basketball player who becomes an outcast at his school after he turns in sort of a, a nightmare performance during a state championship game. Um, I'm curious what inspired that particular story. Well, a lot of people <laughs> jokingly say to me, uh, is this autobiographical? <laughs> I say, no, <laughs> I did play high school basketball, but I, I was never in that situation at a championship game. Um, but, uh, I, I chose the topic because I don't think, I thought it was one that hadn't been written about in young adult sports. Um, you know, feeling the pressure and not coming through under pressure. And, uh, it's something that, uh, you know, the, the athlete, the, the young boy, Mark Chamberlain, he just wants to fit in at his school and he wants to, uh, you know, be accepted. Um, and he's, uh, he's biracial. So he's kind of in between, you know, doesn't know if he fits in with the black students or the white students. And uh, so he's really trying to find his place. And when he, he, he loves basketball, but when he blows the state championship game, it even makes him more of an outcast and people make fun of him. And, uh, you know, that's the one theme with young adults in school is they just want to fit in. They just want to uh, be accepted. So I thought it would be a good topic. Um, there are other issues involved in the in thing, too, in the book, too, um, such as his relationship with his dad and uh, dealing with a death in the family. And, um, and, you know, there's a love story as well. So there's a number of things packed in. Uh, it, it kind of takes, a, I wanted to, you know, 
be a little edgy in looking at race relations and uh, how some people feel on one side, how some people feel on the other side, and some and some of that's in there. Um, for instance, you know, he's he's biracial. Some of the black kids don't think he acts, you know, acts like them, and uh, the white kids, you know. He's he's not really he calls them the poly purebreds you know they're not they're not quite uh, like him either so so he um, it's really just a book about him going through trying to get accepted and uh, I think the theme of the book if I had to if I had to sum it up in two things it's perseverance and having the courage to be different which he he summons the courage to be different and to succeed. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, it's a book that, uh, I don't think it's been written about this topic so much, so I thought it would be interesting to explore. And, you know, it's in the news, you know, we had with the recent Olympics, uh, a gymnast pulled out for mental health, um, issues and the same with a tennis player pulled off the tour for that. And now most of this, I think, is from the pressure to perform. And obviously it's on a much grander scale when you're at the elite athlete level. Uh, but even for a young kid, um, you know, if, if I would say from my experiences with athletes, um, you know, most people don't want to have to shoot the two free throws that would decide the game because it is a lot of pressure on you. Um, the only, the only comparable ex experience I see in sports where you are doing something uh, when the, the, there's, it's, it's just up to you and there's no opponent, uh, it's just an inanimate thing. You're against the, uh, the basket. You have to make the basket. And, uh, and the action stopped. The only other thing comparable is kicking a field goal to win a game where it's all up to you too. And so... It's a difficult position to be in, and uh, um, you know, some kids like Mark Chamberlain is a kid who takes sports very, very seriously. He wants to succeed so bad, and at first he, you know, he crumbles under it. And uh, you know, I think uh, some people may relate to that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You you brought up a good, real good point about the Olympics. I think a lot of people. You know, sort of thought that same thing. You know, uh, watching the same scenes that, that you're describing, and um, you know, I was thinking that same thing in regard to your books too. You really take it from a uh, a very personal level. You know, sports is the backdrop, but it really, you know, they get into the mind of the uh, of the of the characters. So I was curious. You know, how much of a writing challenge was it as someone who, like me, um, hasn't been a teenager for a while to get into and express the thoughts of Mark? Um, and, and you brought up, I'm, I'm guessing part of this has to do with your educational, uh, your, your, your background as an edu educator, but yeah, if you could, if you could talk about that a little bit, was that much of a challenge? Well, I always joke with people, uh, that even though I'm pretty old now, I still have the <laughs> mind of a 16 year old. <laughs> and so I feel like I can still remember those times and what goes through your mind and everything and think like think like uh, my protagonist, and it's written in first person as well. Um, so I, I, I do feel like sometimes you're, you have to watch it as you get older because your references become a little more dated. Um, <laughs> but uh, overall, it's just a, um, just a matter of trying to relate to uh, Ready to relate to that age group and remember what it was like. Uh, the biggest challenge for me was trying to put myself, since I wrote it first person, in the body of someone of a different race, a biracial person, and, and think of what it's like for them out there. Um, try to have some, you know, empathize with them uh, where they may not, you know, know where their friends are, you know, and. Uh, so that was the biggest challenge, trying not to, trying to be realistic, but not be too, uh, um, too, you know, off, off beat, beat on that. Um, right. And, uh, you know, just try to make people think 
uh, about uh, different situations in the book and, and how they would handle it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, now, what would you say was the uh, most rewarding part about writing this book? Well, um, I guess the most rewarding was uh, that I, uh, like I said, I, I took something that uh, I think people would uh, haven't ever read about before, and uh, and it was written so there were a lot of different elements into the book. Um, I you know I, I just enjoyed writing, just enjoy writing sports, and I enjoyed because I thought it was a pretty authentic book, um, and I so I think that was basically one of the most uh, rewarding things. Um, let's see. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, exploring some different issues like we've talked about, I've talked about just previously. Yeah. Right, right. Um, so yeah, you mentioned um, that you're working on another book now. This one's a uh, baseball, uh, has a baseball mm -hmm. background to it. Um, do you have do you have a personal background in baseball yourself? Um, it sounds like you've been involved in a lot of sports over time. I played baseball in high school and college, and uh, I was a pitcher. And the main character is a pitcher. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, the book I'm working on it's it's going to be out in March 2023. And it's called The Gift. Uh, it's a little bit different from my uh, previous books. It's about a uh, uh, pitcher who's a young 21 year old who's stuck in single A, his third year in single A in the minor leagues. He doesn't seem to be getting anywhere in his pro career. And then he goes on this roller coaster ride after he develops a new pitch. And uh, um, it's kind of a fun ride throughout his baseball career. Uh, I don't want to give away too much about right. it, um, but uh, there's there's a little, this is the first time I've used, there's a little bit of a fantasy component into this book too. Uh, oh. And it also has a very, uh, a, a very twist ending, uh, which will surprise people. Oh, wow. Um, Something to look forward to for sure. Yeah, and it's uh, this book is also. I try to make it a little more humorous. It's kind of a lighthearted look at life in the minor leagues, and uh, you know, um, at times you might dislike this uh, uh, main character, and other times you might like him. You might go back and forth. Uh, the book's also about fame and how fame, you know, dealing with fame. Wow, and, uh, so, you're, you're, you're taking on a few different issues there for sure. <laughs> a few different. Uh, I think people, I, you know, people talk about beach reads. You know that this will be just a fun light book, and I, I think that's what it is. No, nothing, no one dies in the book or anything like that. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, everybody basically. Uh, well, I won't give away the ending, but okay, yeah, we, I won't. I won't probe you any more on that. But no, we, I uh, definitely appreciate you sharing. Um, you know, it sounds like a really interesting book. Now, so I, I do want to, I, I think it was really great talking to you. Um, I want to thank you for you and your time. It's always good to sort of um, do a face-to-face. -face. Uh, you know, I've, I've worked with a, a number of these authors over emails, and it's really great to, to see everybody um, and have a conversation like this. Um, can you tell people how to find out more about you and these uh, these books you've written? Okay, sure. Um, you can go to BQ, bqbpublishing.com. Or my uh, my personal website, uh, which has reviews, um, uh, things about the book, and uh, and shows the book off, is Mosley M O S E L E Y author dot Weebly W E E B L Y dot com. Uh, you can also go to Amazon to find. Uh, uh, we have a video out with uh, with Choker um, that's on. Uh, it's on Amazon, uh, and you can also find my first book, Out of Bounds, on uh, on Amazon. Out of Bounds is a mystery um, about a uh, high school reporter who finds out something's going on in in his high school, and it kind of takes Watergate, which happened way back in my high school days, and it's coming upon the 50th anniversary of it. Um, 
in June, uh, and it updates it into a different type of story for, for younger adults to, to understand what's going on, a different type of investigation. Uh, but I think they'll find it interesting. Great, and that was that was a that was sort of a big award winner too, uh, along with Choker. You've definitely gotten some some great recognition for your books. So uh, good job on yes, that. Yes, I'm fortunate on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So. Well, thanks again. Thanks again, Bob. It was it was great talking to you, and uh, you have a great day. All right. Thanks. Nice talking to you, John.